cancer is uncontrolled growth in the body and since we are talking about gastrointestinal system it includes esophagus upper food pipe like stomach small bowel large bowel pancreas liver gall bladder and etc when we talk about a growth which is a lump and we talk about cancer the only difference is a cancer is uncontrolled growth where a normal lump can be a controlled or benign the symptoms of gastrointestinal cancer is organ specific like in a esophagus cancer or a upper food pipe cancer when the tumor grows and it blocks it leads to difficulty in swallowing similarly if in a stomach cancer they form ulcers which may bleed which may present as either blood in the vomitus or blood in the stool similarly the large intestinal cancer will present predominantly as a blood or black colored stool sometime a liver cancer gallbladder cancer or pancreas cancer will present as jaundice this is how the presentation is variable depending on different organ the difficulty in diagnosis is because by the time they start presenting they have already attained considerable size this is where the problem is by the time they do not attain considerable size symptoms are not produced that goes to prove that once the symptoms are there the disease is already advanced this is where the problem is we have not reached to any of the fact that this is the cause of that cancer however during the research what we have gained is we have found certain risk factors when we say risk factors that means presence of risk factors have a probability of development of some sort of cancer so those risk factors for gi cancers are namely like alcohol smoking uh tobacco use sometime people have too fatty meals these are the possible risk factors apart from certain genetic predisposition certain familial predisposition certain exposure in working environment like chemical compounds so there are possible risk factors but actually what causes cancer none of us know so to diagnose uh, gastrointestinal cancer one need to be very vigilant it is patient specific as well as doctor specific a patient needs to uh, notify the symptoms which he cannot unex- cannot explain like unexplained weight loss for example so he should need to come to the doctors immediately by the time the doctor should have high index suspicion pertaining to different cancer and their symptomatology he should start investigating like for an esophageal and stomach cancer you need an endoscopy which is a 5 minutes job opd procedure we take biopsy and that confirms the diagnosis simultaneously blood tests are done to assess the fitness of the patient because subsequently our aim is to treat the patient and we can only treat the patient who is fit because it is always said you treat the patient not the disease once the patient is fit then we need to identify what is the possible stage for that um, ct scan mri or pet ct scan can be given if we detect it early and effective treatment is started on time so regarding when the curative options are concerned majority of gi cancers treated with a multi modality treatment what do you mean by multi modality is like combination of chemotherapy radiation and surgery surgery remains the central because surgery is curative addition of radiation addition of chemo facilitate surgery or also reduces the chance of reoccurrence of the disease once it is removed surgically so this way multi modality treatment where surgery has become better in terms of laparoscopy and robotic surgery radiation and chemo has become better overall the treatment for cancer has become patient friendly and unique in terms of uh, overall results and uh, acceptability so when we talk about reducing the risk it is also about knowing uh, that if in some geographic area there are high incidence cancer of some sort of organ cancer in that situation if we have a good screening program and surveillance program we can detect cancer early and possibly this is how we possibly can prevent uh, cancer development in late stage